Okay, let me use the opportunity to congratulate uh, Senator Omar Gege for his victory. You know, the funniest thing was that we get that prophecy, I think, about third, third March. Third March, right? There is a senator in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. There is a senator. This man's name is Senator Omar Gege. Anybody that knows him, say, go and tell him that Prophet Nosso says, Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. I'm seeing a crown that I will not interpret now. But somebody should go and tell him that there's something better on his way coming. That you should pray for the fulfillment of it, and the Lord shall make it come to pass. I hear it very loud and clear. That was immediately after, during a presidential election. The Lord will position him and this, and the crown will be this, this, and that. You know, so many of us have watched that prophecy. And suddenly I started receiving call. That the prophecy you give, that that person has been nominated. So I purposely said, let me know what people are saying on social media. People, a lot of people were against him. Because of some certain things they believe he acted or he did. But let me tell you, the word of God is always different from the word of man. <laughs> Amen. So I want to say congratulations to you for your victory as the Deputy Senior President, Federal Republic of Nigeria. And let me probably use the opportunity to, to congratulate all the principal officers from the Senior President to the House of Reps and all that. Congratulations to you. But hear this. Hear this and hear me well. Your legislative assignment is to make sure that the life of those you're representing in your constituency changes and improves. You are not there to do your personal business. You are not there to make sure that whatever you desire or some of your mentors from anywhere comes to pass. You are there to make sure that a common man like us experience a good governance in Nigeria. And our responsibility as men of God and children of God across this nation is to pray for you. We'll be praying for you but hear this. Please, Senator Omagege, most especially you that God reveals to us here. We don't know you. We've not met you. Even till now I'm talking, I don't know you. And bet me, I don't even need to know you. But I want to sign it as a warning for the Lord who has spoken to us because of this. Know we that God has positioned you for something and make sure that that thing he has positioned you for is what you will do. I, I will only say to you congratulations and I pray for you. May the Lord give all of you and you the grace to do what he God desire for this nation. To God be the glory. Can we celebrate God? Can we celebrate God here?